Cut gains are common on wooden poles, but they're not the only kind in use. There's another type which doesn't require cutting, called a patent gain. It's basically a metal bracket that's curved on one side to fit against the pole and flat on the other side for the cross arm. There are several different types of patent gains. This one has teeth on the curved side to keep it from slipping against the pole. Other models also have teeth on the flat side. A patent gain also provides electrical continuity between the cross arm and the pole. If a cross arm becomes energized, current can arc between it and the pole and start a fire. But the metal gain provides a conductive path between the cross arm and the pole to prevent arcing. Whatever type of gain is used, most cross arms are mounted to the pole in the same way, with a through bolt. Now let's take a closer look at them and some of the other bolts used to mount cross arms, armless supports, and insulators. Through bolts are often machine bolts with a head on one end and threads for a nut on the other. Washers should always be used at each end. Machine bolts aren't the only type of bolts used to frame a pole. For example, double cross arms are usually held together with double arm or DA bolts. DA bolts are generally threaded along their entire length. To hold the cross arms apart, nuts are screwed down the DA bolt so they're inside each cross arm. Nuts on the outside hold the arms tightly against the inner nuts. Another way to hold double cross arms apart is with a spacer that takes the place of the two interior nuts. This one is simply a section of cross arm with a hole bored through it for a bolt. Either a DA bolt or a machine bolt can be used with a spacer. A different type of bolt is used to attach braces to a cross arm. It's called a carriage bolt. Many carriage bolts have a square shank under the head that's driven into the wood around the hole in the cross arm. This locks the bolt into the wood and keeps it from turning when the nut is screwed on. If there's no square shank, a washer is needed under the head. The pole ends of the braces are often held in place with a square-headed screw called a lag screw. In some companies, lag screws are driven into the pole with a hammer. In others, they are screwed into a pilot hole drilled partway into the pole.